With Chris Christie on the downside right now due to his George Washington Bridge problems, new names have surfaced at the top of the 2016 GOP polls. Last week it was Congressman Paul Ryan barely beating the former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. But there's another name that seems to be gaining a little bit of momentum right now, and that name being Mitt Romney. Remember, there was this poll last November showing that if the election were held one year later, Romney would have won. Let's discuss with Republican strategist Ford O'Connell and CNN political commentator Maria Cardona. And this talk of Romney, maybe a third time. You remember Ronald Reagan, he ran three times. The third time was a term for him. Uh, are you convinced that Romney will not run? No, I do not think that Romney's going to run. Look, I think that 2012 left a bad taste in his mouth and we would have liked to have done better. But at the end of the day, there's a lesson here for Republicans with respect to the poll. And that is, put forth a positive message, project yourself as a problem solver, because you're going to need it in 2016, because Hillary Clinton's going to be really, really tough. How would you, if he did, let's hypothetically, I don't think he's going to run either. I'm going to interview him on Wednesday, yeah. but I don't think he's going to run. But let's say he were to run against Hillary Clinton, how would he do? I think he'd do terribly. And I think all the Republicans are going to do terribly, because what they have to understand is a positive message. Make yourself a problem solver, project that, and expand the tent. Right now, Democrats have 247 electoral votes coming out of the chute, regardless of who the Republican nominee is. And until we can actually figure out how to branch the blue-collar and the white-collar voters of this country, we're in trouble. Hillary Clinton uh, tweeted during the Super Bowl mm -hmm. yesterday. You had a little fun with this tweet. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's so much more fun to watch Fox when it's someone else being blitzed and sacked. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, you, you assume she's going to run. I absolutely do yeah. assume she's going to run. And her biggest challenge right now are expectations and Barack Obama's record. I mean, you can say his approvals are improving, but they're pretty much in the toilet. And at the end of the day, this was a smart PR move. What did she do? She threw red meat at the Democratic base. What does the Democratic base love to hate? Fox News. <laughs> Enough said. I mean, this was smart. This is the largest sporting event in America. This is great PR. It's free and everyone's talking about it. We're talking yeah, about we're it talking right about now. It now. We've got a new exactly poll, right. by the way, coming out on all of these things, including the president's job approval numbers at 5 p.m. Eastern in the situation oh, well then, So yeah, I'm, uh, you guys that? like polls? We Absolutely. Polls. Be watching our can, show. Can I just say one yes. quick thing? The Republican Party needs to listen to this man because he was absolutely right in terms of the, the problem that the Republican Party still holds today, even with Barack Obama's poll numbers the way that they are, the focus on the middle class. They did not have a message for but them. But Reince Priebus, you know, he did an autopsy after the defeat of Mitt Romney, and he's trying to make some changes. He's trying to bring in Hispanics, minorities, young people, women. You don't think that's working? No, I think that it can work. Right now, I think we've got a long way to go. But one of the things out there is, well, most people don't pay a heck of a lot of attention to politics. They don't follow it the way we do. And one of the things that the Republicans have a big problem with is, is putting forth a positive message. Don't talk about cutting things. Talk about reform. Don't talk, you know, talk about modernization. Make people take America to a brighter place. And if you can do that, you can win the White House in 2016. But yes, we do have to expand the ten of voters. If they had followed that autopsy, they would be in a much better place. But the problem is that everything they've done thus far has been kind of the opposite. And they have continued well, the realm or the, the focus that they were on in 2012, Maria, which has been disastrous. No, true, but look, it took us a long time to hit this rock bottom place. And it's going to take us a while to get forward. But right now, the key is, is you know making the gains in 2014 because the political wins are in our favor. But I do agree that when it comes to a different electorate in 2016, we can't count on what we're going to do in 2014 because it's a very different group of people. So when we get to 2016, there's going to have to be some changes yeah. made. And midterms are different than presidential. Absolutely. Immigration right, reform would really help. Ford O'Connell, Maria Cardona, guys, thanks very much. Thanks, Will. Thank you, Will.